the story of how we got the medals, probably one of the most interesting stories that we've got in the museum. When Dan Daly retired from the Marine Corps, he never married and he went back uh, to New York and settled in Glendale, New York and became a bank guard uh, and lived there until he died in the late 1930s. Now, he had no children, he was never married, so he left all his belongings to his beloved sister. When she passed away, the, uh, the items in her house were taken by her son and her daughter and uh, the son was given this particular task of going through the house and clearing out the house so it could be ready for sale. When he was going through the kitchen, he came into the junk drawer in the kitchen and opened it up and inside he found two medals with no ribbons attached and he looked at them and he picked them up and he read them and they said for conspicuous gallantry June 14, 1900 and for conspicuous gallantry October 27, 1915. And he looked at them and said to his wife, if Uncle Dan got two, they couldn't be worth a lot. Little did he know that they were Dan Daly's Medals of Honor. Uh, Bert Loeb, uh, Dan Daly's great grandnephew, uh, donated the, the medals here to the museum. Those are the two medals that we have in this case.